Hi guys. Hey, I made some bread the other day. It's using this popular recipe that's on YouTube. It's for uh, bread that uses sweetened condensed milk. I made a plain version of it. And the thing I like about it is it's really tender. It's easy to make. It's fluffy. And I made two varieties of it. The plain one and then I made this chocolate one. That one's pretty good too. It has little chocolate chips in it. Anyway, I'd like you to check this out, and here we go. I got up about 4 a.m. in the morning, and I made the dough for this. It was pretty easy to put together. And then, after that, I let it rise. And next, we're going to take it out of the bowl and get ready to knead it a little bit more and shape it. First you have to spread it out a little bit, get it thinner, get it into kind of a rectangle, and then cut it in half. That makes two loaves. Now let's cut it in half. So set one aside. We'll set that aside. And then start spreading the other one out into another rectangle. Roughly. Shape it into a rectangle. And we want it to be as wide as the baking pan. So it's got to be a little wider than what it shows. the dough to be even so I think that's about right set the pan aside and then roll it up so you roll it up pull this over thin out that edge So you're pulling this to the edge, then it shows you pinching the ends together. I'm going to spray my pan. I want to be sure that it does not... So there's that. Now, the next step is to divide it into seven. So what I noticed, mm -hmm. to do that, you're basically dividing the middle into one and then you're doing the next section into three so that's about right there right there and then it shows taking this Putting it in. And what the heck, I can just slip this in. Straighten that up in the pan. And there's one loaf. All right, so here's my last piece of bread. Dough. So we're going to shape it into a little bit of a rectangle before we roll it out. Let's square this up more. There we go. So we'll roll this out and then we'll roll that up. We'll square that end out more. So let's see how we're doing. Basically okay. So I'm going to do something different with this bread. I'm going to use mini chocolate chips. 
I'm going to spread them on the inside. Just have to roll it up and it'll be just lovely. see some pockets here. I want to have chocolate. I want to be able to taste it, not just kind of have a hint of it in there. So there we go. I think that's good. Get it out to the edges a little. There we are. Now we'll roll it up. So start out tight. And then just roll it up and see they'll hold in there push those ends in a little more now we're gonna do it into sevenths again all right now spray the pan again our pieces in. Yes, we're going to have to squeeze this one in. And there. And there we go. There's that one. We've got the one we did earlier. Now I've got a tea towel to drape over it. And we'll set our timer. So that's it. Brush that on our bread. And I was just thinking, I got some new, it's some pearl sugar. I think I'll put that on the chocolate loaf. That should actually make a nice final touch. So we've got some Lars Swedish pearl sugar. They make Belgian size and which is probably about the size of peas and this uh, pearl Swedish size. Anyway, let's open it up. Let's sprinkle some of this on our chocolate loaf. There. I think that'll be nice. And then they're ready to go. We'll pop them in the oven and we'll see how they turn out. Put the other one in. There we go. Okay, it's time to get the bread out. I'm going to wear some special gloves that I have. They're silicone. They're not rubber gloves, so just keep track. This isn't rubber gloves I'm putting on. These are silicone gloves, which allow me to handle things that are hot. So anyway, let's get our bread out of the oven. Okay, so I think our one loaf is probably ready. The other one is not quite ready. So we'll set that over here. And the other one will leave it a little bit longer, maybe about five minutes. So let's de-pan our bread, get it started cooling, the first loaf at least. Now let's try it. There we go. Very good. Turn it over. There's our first loaf. So here's our second loaf of bread. Let's run a little spatula around it. Turn it out. There we go. There nice and the loaves of bread are all done let's try slicing them and see how they turned out looks 
looks good. Anyway, I wonder if they pull apart. Well, they do. Let's take that one. So it looks good. Nice grain. You can see a little bit of the swirling in there. Let's try slicing some of it and see how it turns out. Wow. Nice even grain to it. So we'll put that one back. And let's get the other one. Now this one, if you recall, this one has chocolate in it. We put the, or I put the chocolate chips in. So let's see how this one turned out. Got a little swirl there. All right. Well, there's the first one. Second. And third. Well, looks like further in you get more chocolate. Towards the end, maybe not as much, but that's still nice enough. So, well, it looks good. Real nice and moist. So, yes, those look good. Now to try some of the bread. This will be good. Let's see. Let's start with a piece of the white bread first. I'm going to have a little butter on mine. Everything's good with butter. It's a little cold out, so the butter's not spreading very good. But... What's a few hunks of butter on our bread? There we go. All right. Well, that's very, very good bread. It's got a nice little teeny chewy crust. It's got excellent flavor. It's on the sweet side, so that's good. Now, let's try some of the chocolate. Let's go in a little further. Let's get that one that had more chocolate on it. Actually, you know, this one we don't really need any butter on. What the heck? And that's nice. It's got good chocolate flavor. Kind of reminds me of a chocolate croissant. But a little sprinkle of that sugar. That's good too. Very good. You know what? I think I'm going to go fix myself a cup of coffee. And then I'll finish the rest of these. Anyway, it's been real. Thanks for joining me, and we'll talk to you next time.